What is up, guys? Uh, here at Crazy Wrestling. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about and rate all of the WWE WrestleMania matches over the weekend. So, first up was the opening match of John Cena vs. Austin Theory. Not too much happened, but I feel like it was a good opening match. You know, considering it was the U.S. title on the line. Uh, it was kind of kind of clear who was going to win once the referee got knocked out. Because, like, you know, and then Cena hit the STF. Austin tapped, but the referee wasn't there to call it. And Cena got hit with a low blow. And then... Austin Theory hit a A Town Down. I forgot what his finisher is called. For the 1 2 3 count. Wasn't too big of a match, but it was good enough to be called the opening match. Uh, and then Matt, and the next is the uh, Fatal 4 Tag Team Showcase match. Uh, I mean, the Street Profits. The Viking Raiders, uh, Rick Shane, Braun Strowman, and then, hold on, I know, I know the last team, hold on. Hold on. I forgot, there was another team in there. Um, so, that was a pretty good match. Uh, Braun Strowman, in the middle of the match, he just went, ar went around the ring, taking down everyone who was up. And then he tried to go a second time, but Angelo Dawkins just, like, took him down, like, like in football. They're like... That, that was kind of cool. Then, um... Yeah, and then Ricochet hit that... What I'm going to call the shooting star press, which it basically looked like. And basically, to the outside. So that was great. And then I forgot how the finish went. Oh, yeah. It was kind of like... In Angelo had Ricochet kind of like this. And then... I'm using different action figures because I don't have the right people. And then uh, Montez Ford hit the frog splash for the one, two, three count. So that that was a great showcase match. A great match in total. Hold on. Uh, next was the. Uh, Seth freaking Rollins against Logan Paul match. Uh, I don't know when I can get it, but when I get it, I can guarantee Logan Paul will be on this channel. I don't know when I'll get it, but when it's available, I will get it. Um, yeah, basically, uh, when Logan Paul came down with the Prime bottle human, me and my dad were watching it live. I told him, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's KSI in there. Because, uh, it's a, it's a little odd that he bring a prime bottle. So, basically, yeah, Logan and Seth had a great fight in the ring. Then they took it to the announcer's desk. So, that, I don't know, they were in the ring. And then KSI pulls Seth Rollins. Out. So basically, they cleared the table, put Seth Rollins on it, KSI got the video, and then, hold on, look at the table. Yeah, b basically, yeah, put it on a table, and then Seth got off the table, put KSI on it, and then Logan Paul just hit that frog splash. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Take forever in a 15 minute taking short. But no, 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 no. In the video, it's okay. Yeah, and then Logan Paul and Seth Rollins continued to have a grand match. It was like Seth Rollins hit a super kick. And then... Yeah, I think he hit a curb stomp after that for the 1-2-3. So that was great. Even though KSI interfered, Seth Rollins still won the match. And was still victorious. At WrestleMania. Uh, next was the Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish Stratus against uh, Damage Control. That match... Or no. It was a pretty good match. Um, don't remember too much of it. Because this is night one. So, yeah, I think Io Sky hit like a moonsault to the outside. That was like the biggest part of it. And then all of. And Becky Lynch, Leanna, and Tristratus at the end just hit like all of their like grand moves, kinda. And then Becky Lynch, uh, yeah, I think she hit a leg drop to get the one, two, three. So that, that was also, I'm not going to lie, for the, fir for the first four, four matches, that one I didn't really like, because, like, I don't really like when they have tag, I don't really like when they have a non-title match. With a champion. Because, like, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's kind of odd. Uh, next was the uh, Ray vs. Dominic Mysterio. This one, I was going to upload a video on it. I, I was going to record part of it. I recorded but deleted the... Dominic was area entrance. So yeah, Do Dominic pulled up in like a police car. Uh, that, that was kind of cool. His, his entrance, he was like discarded from the police. I think he went through the crowd. And so he was like... Dun, 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 dun. And he went into the ring. And Rey Mysterio pulled up in uh... I forgot what it was called. It was like the... It was like the... Benji's hard thing. He pulled up with uh, Snoop Dogg. I don't know why Snoop Dogg was there. I mean, he's the dog fodder of WrestleMania. But he was there. He pulled up with Rey Mysterio. Uh, then Rey Mysterio went on the big stage and did his main celebration thing. And then went down to the ring. So basically, the match started. Basically, Dominic had the first big moves. Then Ray just kept on attacking him, just like with punches. And then, I think at one point Dominic was like, he was kind of like this. And Ray took a belt and then started whooping him. I'm surprised he didn't get disqualified for that. Cause like, that's technically a weapon used. Or was that a no DQ match? No, I'm pretty sure that was a DQ match. Like, yeah. So basically, after a while, they keep fighting in the ring. Judgment Day come out, and then the um, the LWO come out, and they start fighting. And Dominic has Ray down, kind of like in the corner over here. And Damian Priest has his, like, uh, like, a uh, coat he had over here. Dominic pulls it out, gets a chain, and then Bad Buddy comes. 
and just snatches it away from him. And then I think Red Mysterio proceeded to hit a 619 and a frog splash for the 1 2 3. That was a great match. Not even gonna lie, that was a great match. Uh, I was excited the whole match, like, like, I was like, I can't believe that happened, like, I didn't expect Bad Bunny to just take the chains away, which that was a segment on the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania, so basically, yeah. So, next we have Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair. That was a great match. It was like... Neither woman would stay down for the three count. It was always... They hit like a a grand move and only get to two. They hit a submission. They would get out of the submission by grabbing the rope. Big move two count, big move, two count, big move, two count, and eventually, Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley were on the top rope, uh, Rhea pulls Charlotte down, knocks her out by hanging her head on the post thing, and Rhea Ripley proceeds, proceeds to hit a riptide for the one, two, off the top rope, too, that was like, Dang. Like, I, I, I've, I've never seen a Riptide off the top rope. That was a great WrestleMania moment for Rhea Ripley. And also Charlotte Flair. Because, like, that was just... Like, who, who can forget that match? I'm pretty sure people will still be talking about it in, like, five years. On uh, the next... It had Pat McAfee versus The Miz. Pat McAfee was a grand, was a special return. So he and The Miz, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really like that match. It was just Pat McAfee beat up The Miz. They went to the outside. Uh, I think his name is, uh, let's start with the G. George? I don't know. Giorgio Kiffel? I didn't hear it too well. Uh, basically, they beat up the Miz, basically making a two-on-one handicap match. Took, Chris, took Miz to the inside of the ring and basically ended the match with the one, two, three count. So I didn't really like that match. It was basically just, you know, Pat McAfee winning in a special return. Didn't really like that at all. Uh, and it's Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens against the Usos. That was, in my opinion, arguably the greatest match of the night. Yeah, non-stop action. Sami Zayn kicked out of the 1D... Like, I'm pretty sure the first person, the only person to ever do that. Kevin Owens went through a table. And so basically, uh, let me get someone else in here. Uh, Kevin Owens hit the stunner. Sami Zayn went and hit, proceeded to hit Jey Uso with three Halula kicks before getting the one, two, three count. And dethroning the Usos in their over 600 day run. I think they have like a little less than a year away from Roman's uh, title reign. So basically, that's night one. I can't really pick my favorite match it's either Seth Rollins and Logan Paul or it might be that match right there 
like night one just didn't disappoint it went over the top it was just great night two however saying it like it was bad but it wasn't uh started off with uh brock lesnar and omos not gonna lie I wasn't a whole lot of interest in that match because, like, when it's like a beast like Brock Lesnar against Omos, I'm like, yeah, Brock Lesnar's gonna win that because, you know, Brock Lesnar is a beast, is a beast against the giant. You know, the beast always wins. That's why I wasn't the most interested against Bobby Lashley and Omos last year. Because, like, we were all like, yeah, Bobby Lashley's gonna win that. So Omos just started, he like, how did he do it? Like, he, he flipped Brock Lesnar, kind of like, it was kind of like, yo, or not. It was like, basically, yeah, he flipped Lesnar, and then Lesnar just got the comeback, just hitting Omos with a couple of suplexes. Uh, try to hit an F5, didn't work, hit Omos, and then went for the F5 again, and proceeded to hit that one, two, three. Basically that to end the opening match of night two. And I was like, okay, okay, a, a great start, a great start. So yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, night, night two looks promising. It looks pretty promising. Uh, and then the showcase match happened. Now, I don't know why, but I had no, I had little to no interest in, into this match. But it surprisingly became just as good as the men's showcase match. Not better, but. A little bit just as good. Basically, I'm pretty sure like the key moments of that match was like Natalia hitting that double sharpshooter. Uh, oh, I think it's Chelsea Green getting thrown to the outside. Yeah. I didn't really like how Ronda, Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey, and Shayna Baszler, they were just, like, outside the whole time. Until, until like, the last moment where Rousey hit the armbar on Shotzi to get the win. I didn't really like that. And plus, I wasn't really the biggest fan on those two winning. I'm really a fan of the teams itself. And yeah, basically, that was a pretty good match. Uh, maybe next year we'll, we'll also have a showcase, showcase for a four-way tag team match. Maybe next year it'll be for the titles. Because like, if, if it was for the titles, that would be a lot more interesting. Not that this year wasn't. Uh... Oh, the triple threat match. The triple threat match. Oh my gosh. Like, my eyes were like glued to the screen. Like, hold on. I used this TV. I used the TV that I used for uh, showing the uh, entrances of super superstars. I use the TV right here to watch night two of WrestleMania. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Like every single moment, I have Drew McIntyre, hold on. Like Drew McIntyre hit Claymores, he hit uh, one or two, feature shots, DDTs. 
got hit with the bro kick. I think it was once or twice. And then... Yeah, and then Gunther, I'm using... I'm gonna use Goldberg. Basically, it was like he hit a powerbomb to Sheamus on top of Drew McIntyre. Sheamus left... It was kind of like on the apron. And then... Uh, Gunther hit up power bomb to Drew McIntyre to retain the title and retain the Intercontinental Championship. That was a great match. Oh my gosh! Like, I honestly cannot think of a better Intercontinental title match than that one. Some people are like, eh, what about Sheamus and Gunther at Clash of the Castle? Uh, not, 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 not as good as this one. I get some people are like sad because, like, I was sad because, like, I wanted Sheamus to win. It was the one title that eluded him. It's the one title that has eluded him his entire career. And he didn't get the chance to win it. But, yeah. But, like, Gunther, like, he's going to have a 300-day title reign. Today's day, like, right, today's Tuesday. Today's day 298. So, Thursday will be day 300 of Gunther's huge title reign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next was the Bianca Belair versus... Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, keep in mind, I, I watched the pay-per-views. Um, so when I watched the Elimination Chamber, I was kind of like... I was expecting like it was going to be Roman Reigns defending... His titles at the Elimination Chamber. But, like, I can see a bunch of reasons why they want to do that. First of all, for the Roman Reigns against Sami Zayn. Greatest match. No offense, guys, but... I didn't see Sami Zayn winning that match. I did not see... I did not see Roman dropping the titles. Because, like, Sami Zayn is good, but I just... I wasn't really that interested against Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes in the main event of WrestleMania, you know? So, sorry if I offended some people. <sighs> yeah, and so, the Asuka against uh, Bianca Belair. Asuka won the Elimination Chamber to be the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. I'm literally the biggest fan of a number one contender elimination chamber. First, you have to go through a chamber, which people have won their first ever, or have won the WWE Championship inside of the elimination chamber. They're going to make that a number one contenders match. Yeah, Asuka won it. Uh, I think Oscar was, like, the last person out, so, yeah, there, there was a lot of, like, power. From the Elimination Chamber, I think Oscar hit a, like, a shout-out Green Mist, but, yeah, Bianca Belair versus Oscar. that was a great match. I think Bianca Belair hit, like, a powerbomb or something. To the outside. Uh, there's some great action, like, right here. Uh, Bianca Bella game bangs to the ring post. So when, when they were in the ring, that was the greatest. Uh, the ending, Asuka missed the green mist. And then Bianca Bella hit a KOD for the 1-2-3. So... Like, that was also a grand match. 
Next up is the Shane McMahon vs. The Miz. Not like uh, Shane McMahon during the match, he tore. I was it. I don't know if it was both his quads or just one of his quads. I don't know if people have two quads. Whatever. Um. Yeah, he broke the, he. Something happened to his knees. So. I think that ended the match, and then Snoop Dogg came in, it was like, Miz is down, right here, sorry, I don't have the correct action figures, so you don't have the correct ones, and then Snoop Dogg bounced off the ropes, he bounced off the second ropes, like, kind of just like standing, standing still. And then, like, he jumped up and hit the people's elbow. Which, brought a good, in my opinion, brought a good style to it. And then, I don't think the Snoop Dogg vs. The Miz was a match on its own. It might have been. I just didn't see the refs. Uh, next is... The great Helena, Helena Cell match against uh, Edge. We'll, we'll, we'll use the Fiend for the Demon Pin Baller. Basically, have some great power. Edge hit like a grand move. The Demon got up quickly. Then they went to like this section past this rope over here. Edge basically put two kendo sticks through the holes of the Hell in a Cell cage, basically trapping the demon. And then he got on the apron thing, and just like boom, snapped the kendo sticks, but like didn't snap them in half, so so they didn't really like break. Then Edge like set up a table. Uh, the demon fought back. Sent Edge through the table. The faint or the the demon got a couple of supplies. Just started throwing them at Edge. And I think they went into the ring. Edge hit like a big move, went outside, got a ladder, threw the ladder, I have a ladder, I have a ladder, I can do this, oh no, it's going incredibly long, so basically, threw a ladder at the plane, or at the demon, busting him open, so basically that, that had to take a minute, so there was like a table set up, started attacking, Edge got on the table at one point, the demon, like, they added like, a platform to the Hell in a Cell, there, like a platform. So he tried to hit the coup de gras. Edge moved. Fiend went right through the table. Uh, that was like a grand. That was like the grand part of the match. Uh, Fiend's over here. Chair under him. Edge hits a concer a concerto. Basically, he's like that for the one, two, three count. That's how Edge won the Hell in a Cell match. That's honestly, in my opinion, one of the greatest matches of WrestleMania 39. I'm trying to find the camera. 
Then the main event with Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. I like almost every single person in this universe thought that Roman Reigns was going to get dethroned from Cody Rhodes. So Sokoa was there, huh? Who should I use as Cody Rhodes? I don't need any. Solo Sokoa basically interfered, stabbed uh, Cody Rhodes with a steel chair to the ribs while Roman Reigns was distracting the referee. Roman Reigns just kept hitting everything he had, but Cody Rhodes would keep kicking out. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Randy and Roman Reigns hit like everything they had at each other. No one would stay down for the three count. So basically, uh, Cody Rhodes. Oh, how, how, how do you do it? One crossroads. Two crossroads. Paul Heyman distracted the referee. He's going to hit throw a crossroads. But the Usos came in. Oh, no, not the Usos. Uh, Solo Sokoa came after being ejected. Hit him with a Samoa spike. And Roman, and then Roman Reigns came in. Speared Cody. And hit a one, two, three to retain. That's like the most shocking part about Wrestle Meaning. And if you guys saw my WrestleMania 39 reaction video for the ending, like I spent like 10 minutes just holding on my phone being like, hmm, what's the correct time to record? No, I'm just kidding, I didn't do that. I knew when it was gonna end. I'm just the time knower. So yeah. Basically, night one, let's go up one to ten, I'd rate it like a 9.4. It was like grand non-stop action. Night two, no, no, no. Yeah, night two, I'm giving that a 9.9 9 out of 10. So in total... My WrestleMania 39 review is a 19 point, wait, how did I say? Oh, yeah. 19.3 out of 20. Pretty good. Pretty good WrestleMania, so. Basically, a 9.65 out of 10. Which is great. So, now with uh, Triple H in, tar in charge, Vince McMahon is in creative again. Or, as the rumors say. I'm still going to be here uploading crazy wrestling videos. Um, yeah, that's my WrestleMania 39 review. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, thank you guys for spending, like, half an hour listening to my review. Um, like and subscribe.